Uh, good day to everyone. Uh, my topic for today is all about uh, database management system. And this is your uh, Professor Domingo. So database management system class, uh, basically it refers no, to an organized uh, collection of structured information no, or data that is typically stored no, electronically in a computer system. So a database is usually uh, controlled by a database management system. So basically, plus a database no, is information that is uh, set up for easy access, no, management, and updating. And computer databases uh, typically store aggregations of data records or files no, that contain information such as sales transaction, or yung mga customer data, no, financials, and product information. So, database are used for storing, no, maintaining, and accessing any sort of data. They collect information on people, places, or things no, that information is gathered in one place so that it can be observed and analyzed. So databases can be uh, thought of as an organized collection of information. So database management system class, uh, in short, it refers to the technology you know, of storing and retrieving users' data with utmost uh, efficiency you know, along with uh, appropriate security measures. So businesses uh, use data stored in databases to make informed business decisions. And some of the ways uh, of organizations that uses database you know, that include the following. Uh, number one, they can improve uh, business processes you know, because uh, companies uh, collect data about business processes such as sales, you know, order processing, uh, some uh, customer service. You know? So they analyze that data to improve these uh, processes, expand their business and grow revenue. Uh, they can also keep track of customers. So databases often uh, store information about people no, such as customers or users. For example, yan, we have social media platforms that use databases to store users' information uh, such as names, mga email nila, no, addresses, and user behavior. Uh, the data that is used to recommend content to users and improve the user's experience. Um, pwede rin silang mag-ano class, no? Secure personal health information. Kasi um, healthcare providers, no, usually, they use databases to securely store, no? Personal health data to inform and improve patient care. They can also store personal data in mga databases that can also be used to store personal information. No? For example, yan yung mga cloud storage no? that is available for individual users to store media such as yung mga photos nila at yung mga managed cloud. So, why to learn DBMS? So, in real-world entity, a modern DBMS is more realistic no? and uses a real-world entities to design its architecture. It uses a behavior no? and attributes. Uh, for example, no? a school databases may use uh, students as an entity and their age as an attribute. Yung mga relation-based tables natin class, uh, yung sabihin nun, yung mga DBMS that allows entities no? and relations among them to form tables. A user can understand the architecture of a database just by looking at the table names. Now, yung mga isolation of data and application, no, yun. so a database system no, that is entirely different than its data. Uh, database, that is an active entity, no, whereas data is said to be passive, no, in which the database work and organizes. So, ginagawa nila, they stores metadata, so, itong metadata na ito, the data about data, no, to is its own processes. So, yung less redundancy naman, ito yung mga DBMS no, that follow the rules of normalization, no, which uh, splits a relation when any of attributes is having uh, redundancy in values. No? Yung mga normalization that is mathematically rich 
and a scientific process no, that reduce data redundancy. Um, consistency class, yung, it is a state no, where every relation in database remains uh, consistent. But there exist methods and techniques no, which can detect uh, attempt no, of leaving databases no, in inconsistent state. So a DBMS that can provide greater consistency um, as compared no, to earlier forms of data storing applications just like uh, yung mga file processing systems. So yung query language class, ito yung mga equipped no, with query language no, which makes it more uh, efficient no, to retrieve and manipulate data. So usually a user can apply as many and as different filtering options as required to retrieve a set of data. So traditionally, it was not possible where file processing system was used. So, the mga databases class were first created in the 1960s. No, these early databases were uh, network models. No, uh, where each record is related to many primary and consider uh, secondary records. No, nisa sabi nilang hierarchical uh, databases were also among the early models. So they have uh, three schemas. No, with a root directory of records linked to several uh, subdirectories. So, uh, yung relational databases class kasi nag, ano yan, nag start ng developing yan noong 1970s. No? Ang tawag dyan yung mga object-oriented databases no? that came next in the 1980s. So, sa ngayon, uh, we only use structured query language, no? yung SQL na, sinabi ko sa akin yung SQL Server 2008, no? Uh, that created the relational, the relational databases. No, it became the standard for database systems no? because of its uh, logical schema or yung it's a way no where it is organized. So the use of a logical schema you know, separates the relational databases from physical storage. So the relational database class, it's combined with the growth of the internet the beginning in the mid-1990s. You know, let that led to the uh, proliferation of databases. Many business and consumer applications rely on databases. You know, yung mga database management system natin uh, are essential no, for businesses because they offer an efficient way of handling large amounts and multiple types of data. No, and the ability to access the data no, efficiently allows companies to make informed decisions quicker. So, applications of database class. So, database is a collection of related data and data is a collection of facts and figures that can be processed to produce information. So, mostly, data represent recordable facts. No, data aids in producing information which is based on facts. Uh, example niyan class, if we have data about marks obtained by all students, we can then conclude about toppers and average marks. So a database management system class stores no, data in such a way that it becomes easier to retrieve, uh, manipulate, and produce information. So following are the important characteristics and applications of database. So yung mga database software natin that makes data management simpler no, by enabling users to store data in a structured form and then access it. No? It typically has a great, uh, graphical interface no, to help create and manage the data. And in some cases, users can construct their own databases by using database software. So yung mga database example natin na laging ginagamit, yung mga on-demand online video streaming, mga social gaming, no? personal cloud storage, sa sports, sa finances, government organizations, so social media, tsaka sa mga e-commerce. So DBMS application class, uh, number one, acid properties. No? Uh, DBMS follow the concept of atomicity, no? consistency, isolation, and durability, normally shortened as acid. So these concepts are applied on the transaction which manipulate data in database. So acid properties help the database stay healthy in a multi-transactional multi environment in case of failure. Meron din tayong tinatawag ng multi-user and concurrent access. Ito class yung mga DBMS that supports multi-user environment no, and allow them to access and manipulate data in parallel. So though there are restrictions on transactions no, where uh, 
user attempt no, to handle the same data item. No, but users are always unaware of them. So multiple views class, yung mga DBMS that offers multiple views for different users. So a user who is in the sales department no, will have a different view of database no, than a person working in the production department. So this feature enables the user to have a concentrated view of database no, according to their requirements. For the security class, it features like multiple views no, that offer security to some extent where users are unable to access data of other users and departments. So DBMS offers methods and impose constraints while entering data into the database and retrieving the same at a later stage. So DBMS Plus offers many different levels of security, you know, which enables multiple users to have different views with different features. Example, a user in the sales department cannot see the data that belongs to the purchase department. No? Additionally, it can also be managed how data on the sales department should be displayed to the user. Since a DBMS is not saved on the disk as a traditional file system, it is very hard for misprints no? to break the code. So a DBMS class can improve your data processes and increase the business value of your organization's data asset. Freeing users across the organization no, from repetitive and time-consuming data processing tasks. So ano yung magiging resulta? No, a more productive workforce, better compliance with data regulations, and better decisions. And a database applications can be used for storing or retrieving data. Processing transactions or various machine learning calculations. So example class, no, Facebook, a user database with which uh, authenticates users when they log into their Facebook account. Example niyang class, yung mga DBMS include MySQL, PostgreSQL, Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle Database, and Microsoft Access. So the DBMS acronym is sometimes extended to indicate the underlying database model with RDBMS uh, for the relational, OODBMS for the object, and ORDBMS for the object or relational model. So database class is a collection of related data and data is a collection of facts and figures that can be processed to produce information. So mostly, no, data represent recordable facts and data aids in producing information, which is based on facts. For example, if we have data about marks no, that obtained by all students, we can then conclude about toppers and average marks. So a database management system that stores data in such a way that it becomes easier to retrieve Manipulate and produce information. So there are many types of database class. No, they, they, they may be classified according to the content, the bibliography, full text, numeric, and images. So in computing databases, usually they are often classified based on the organizational approach they use. And some of the main organizational databases that include the following, your relational, uh, this tabular approach, uh, defines data so it can be reorganized no, in access in many ways. Relational databases natin are comprised of tables and data is placed into predefined categories no, in those tables. So each table class has columns with uh, at least no one data category and rows that have a certain data instance no, for uh, the categories which are defined in the columns. So yung mga information class in a relational database no, about a specific customer is organized into rows, columns, and tables. So these are indexed to make it easier no, to search no, using SQL or NOS natin. Yung mga relational database no, that uses SQL in their use in application program interfaces and the new data category no, can easily be added no, to a relational database without having to change the existing applications. So, yung mga relational database management natin, di ba? Na used to store, no? manage, query, no? and retrieve data in a relational database. Kung tawag sa kanila, yung mga RDBMS, no? that gives user the ability no? to control, read, uh, or write access. No? That specify report generation no? and analyze use. So, karamihan sa mga database na class, they offer atomicity, no? consistency, isolation, and durability. So, into the town natin ASIC, no? compliance to the guarantee that data is consistent and the transactions are complete. So, there is some distributed class. No? This database stores records or files in several physical locations. No? Data processing is also spread out and replicated across different parts of the network. 
So distributed database no can be homogeneous where all physical locations have some underlying uh, hardware no and run the same operating systems and database applications. So they can also be heterogeneous no in those cases the hardware OS and database applications can be different in the various locations. So cloud so these database are built in a public, no private or hybrid cloud for a virtualized environment. So users are charged based on how much storage and bandwidth they use. They also get scalability on demand and high availability. So these databases plus can work with applications deployed as software as a service. Yung mga no SQL database no are good when dealing with large applications of distributed. Ah, no? Okay. So, analyzing these databases can also be called non-relational database. Pwede rin siyang object-oriented, no? Pag sinabi mo object-oriented, these databases hold data created, no? Using object-oriented programming languages. So, they focus on organizing objects, no? Rather than actions and data rather than logic. Ang instance yan, yung image data record with a, with, a, with a data object, no? Rather than alphanumeric value. So, characteristic class. So, real-world entity, no? A modern DBMS is more realistic and uses real-world entities to design its architecture. So, it uses the behavior and attributes, no? For example, a school database may use students as an entity and their age as an attribute, no? Relation-based tables class, yung mga DBMS that allows entities uh, and relations among them to form tables. No, a user can understand the architecture of a database no, just by looking at the table names. Uh, number three, yung mga isolation of data and application. No, a database system that is entirely different from, than its data. A database that is an active, whereas data is said to be passive, on which database works and organized. So DBMS also stores metadata, which data about data to ease its own process. So less redundancy din siya. Uh, DBMS follow the rules of normalization, which speech relation with any attribute no, having redundancy and values. And normalization is mathematically rich and scientific process that reduce data redundancy. And so much to that, we also have consistency, query language, yung ACID properties, multi-user concurrent access, multiple views, no, and security. So pag sinabi natin class yung mga main characteristics of database, no? Database is self-describing in nature, no? Insulation between program and data, no? And support multiple views of data, sharing knowledge and multi-user transactions in the database. Mga qualities class of pag database design, it reflects real-world structure of the problem. It can also present, no? All expected data over time. It can also avoid redundant storage of data items, no? Provide efficient access to data. Support the maintenance of data integrity over time and clean, consistent, and easy to understand. So talking about user class, meron tayong administrator na tinatawag. Talk about administrators maintain the DBMS and are responsible for administering the database. So they are responsible to look after its usage and by whom it should be used. So they create uh, access profiles for users and apply uh, limitations to maintain isolations and force security. So administrators also look for DBMS resources like system license, required tools, no, and other software and hardware related maintenance. So talking about designers, so these are the group of people who actually work on the designing part of the database. And they keep a close watch on what data should be kept, no, and in what format. They also identify and design the whole set of entities, no, relations, constraints, and views. So, yung mga end user natin plus uh, those who actually reap the benefits of having a DBMS. So, end users can range from simple viewers who pay attention. But talking about the users, we also have seven types of database users. No, Database administrator, yung mga nave or parametric end users, system analysts, sophisticated users, there rin siya mga database designers, application program, o kaya yung mga casual users, temporary users. So database administrator class is a person or team who defines the schema and also controls the three levels of database. So the DBMA will then create a new account ID and password for the user if he or she needs to access the database. And DBA is also responsible for providing security to the database and he allows only the authorized users to access or modify the database. 
EBA is also responsible for monitoring or the recovery and backup, no, and provide technical support. And the DBA is a DBA account, no, in the DBMS, which call the system or super users account. And DBA repairs damage caused due to hardware or software failures. So DBMS architecture class. So the design of the database depends on its architecture, no. It can be centralized or decentralized or hierarchical. No? The architecture of the DBMS can be seen as either single or multi-tier. No, an, an entire no? architecture divides the whole system into related uh, but independent end modules, no? which can be independently modified, altered, changed, or replaced. And in a one-tier architecture, no, the DBMS is only the entity no? where the user directly sits on the DBMS and uses it. So any changes done here will be directly on the DBMS itself. It does not provide handy tools for end users. And database designers and programmers normally prefer to use a single tire architecture. So if the architecture of the DBMS is too tired, then it must have an application through which the DBMS can be accessed. And programmers use two tire architecture where they access the DBMS by means of an application. And here the application tire is entirely independent of the database in terms of operation, design, and programming. So we have hardware, and this is a physical device that device software runs, no? and then database hardware includes computers, yung mga servers, and hardware. Uh, talking about software, ito yung mga application that give user control to the database. In a database management system, software is used to manage and control databases. So for the data, this is the raw information that the database stores. Database administrators organize the data to make it more meaningful. For the data access language, this is the more programming language that controls the database. And the programming language and the DBMS must work together. One of the most common database languages is SQL. For the procedures, these rules determine how the database works and how it handles the data. Okay, next for three tire architecture. Uh, it separates its tires and it's based on the complexity of the users and how they use the data present in the database. It is most commonly widely used to design a DBMS. A database or data tire, no? a database reside along with query processing languages. We also have the relation that define the data and the constraint at this level. For the application or middle tire, at this tire reside the application server and the programs that access the database. So these applications represent abstracted view of the database. End users are unaware of the end existence of the database beyond the application. On the other end, the database now must be beyond the application tire. No? And so much of that, we also have a user presentation tire. Just feed through it. So setting up, no, operating and maintaining a database has some common challenges, no, such as the following. No? Data security natin is required because data is valuable business asset. So protecting data stores uh, requires skilled cybersecurity staff which can be costly. Yung mga data integrity natin no, that ensures data is trustworthy. And it's not always easy to achieve data integrity because it means restricting access to the database to only those qualified to handle it. And database plus performance requires regular database updates and maintenance. So without the proper support, database functionality can decline as the technology supporting the database changes or the data it contains changes. Database integration plus can also be difficult. It involves integrating data sources from the varying types of databases and structures into single database or into data lakes or data warehouses. So thank you for listening class. God bless everyone.